The Diamond in the Rough quest and the Cave of Wonders is probably my favorite part of the expansion pass so far, but it's also the part that I think I've received the most questions on, whether it's not knowing where that scarab beetle just flew off to or getting stuck on some of the puzzles inside the Cave of Wonders. So here's a complete walkthrough of the Diamond in the Rough quest, including how to solve every one of the puzzles in the Cave of Wonders. We did do this on stream live, so if you want to see how I thought through it in real time, I'll put the link to that live stream down below. I've been trying to do all of the different quests on stream live so you can see how I'm thinking through them and the videos of those stay up so if you're ever looking back for another quest the live streams are a pretty good place to reference. All right so let's look at this diamond in the rough quest in Disney Dream Life Valley's expansion pass of Rift in Time on Eternity Isle. Now this quest takes place in the glittering dunes and to start out you're going to need to have both halves of the scarab beetle. After completing the wild tangle swarm, the next quest is diamond in the rough. This quest starts after you have both scarab pieces. You do need to make sure you have them in your inventory. Once you have them in your inventory, you go to Gaston, give him both of the pieces, He puts them together and now you are suddenly following this glowing beetle throughout the desert, just like in Aladdin. It's pretty easy to lose track of the flying glowing golden beetle in the desert, so I'll show you where it ends up. If you lose track of it, the beetle goes into the waist to the left of the ship here. It'll be waiting there for you. Just walk up to it and interact with it. And when you do interact with it, the Cave of Wonders will pop up in front of you. At this point, you have to explain to Gaston the diamond in the rough aspect that Jafar explained and that you will be entering the Cave of Wonders on your own. Walk up to the Cave of Wonders and interact with it so you can go inside. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the expansion pass. Everything in here, everything to do with the Cave of Wonders looks so good. Once inside, talk to the hologram of Jafar, and you find out that this is not the original Cave of Wonders, but one that Jafar has made himself and modeled after the original. That means that you are able to touch other things. You can pick up stuff that is not the lamp, but it also has a number of traps inside. He says that the magical structures inside the cave all revolve around the displacement of light. So I really enjoy light puzzles, so I was looking forward to this. After talking to Jafar, head over to the left. You'll see these splinters of fate here. Clear those away. And continue making your way to the left. You'll clear a few more of them and then on the other side you'll have an item that you can pick up. This is a power coil and right in front of you is a place that looks like it could take a power coil so just go up to that, interact with it, and you'll be able to put that power coil that you just picked up into the slot on the wall. Head back around to where you entered the cave and you'll see a switch to your right. If you look at the door right now, we have one of those lasers is hitting that little dot to the left of the door. The power coil on the right is in place, so we'll just flip the switch and it brings that mirror down that you can see and the mirror is going to reflect that beam of light back towards the door. So now we have a beam of light on either side of the doorway and that'll allow us to go through the door. Head through the doorway and then clear these splinters of fate you find in front of you, those little crystals on the ground. We can see after entering on the right side we have another one of those slots in the wall where a power coil could go. We have a doorway to the right and a doorway to the left. 
And if we keep heading left, there are some piles of gold, so I decided to check behind them. And back here is a yellow chest. Mine only had a coin in it, which I guess is appropriate given all the gold that we see around. It was 2,000 coins, which is a little better than my average chest. So from here, I decided to check out the right side. I see that there is a switch down here, but there's nothing that would go to the switch yet, so I figure we probably need to find that power coil first. So I head through the right side door. And sure enough, when you head through the right side door, there is a power coil in the center of the room. It tells you it's not charged. And on the ground, we have a bunch of circuits. And then these little white circles that you can interact with. When you do interact with them, they will spin around. So what we need to do is go around to these different interaction points, turn the shape that's on the ground so that we can complete the circuit so that power goes from the wall to the power coil at the center of the room. So I turn the first one one turn. At the next one, I turn it once, I turn it twice, and you can see how the line now continues. So you're basically basically trying to connect the lines as you go along. The next one I only have to turn it once and now we can see it start to light up. This one I'll turn it once, turn it twice, turn it three times so it completes that corner and the light continues. For the next one we'll turn it once and twice and now it has lit up and we can see that first one I did was actually right and now all of the lines heading to the center are lit up. So we managed to connect all the lines. The power coil in the center is now charged. So we're going to pick up the power coil in the center. I'm going to head back to the main room and then we're going to head through the doorway on the left. I like checking out the whole room first. I see that there is a switch on the wall. There's a mirror over on the left side and the laser is hitting on the right. So probably the switch is gonna move that mirror into the beam of light. If we continue over this way, turn around, I see that there's some of these splinters of fate. So I'm gonna clear away these crystals. I feel like every time I see them, there's probably something on the other side. So I clear those and there is a switch down here. I don't see anything else. So we'll flip that switch. If we head up the ramp, we see there is another mirror, but there's no switch up here. So I'll head down to that first switch we saw, flip it, and sure enough, the mirror comes over and bounces the light beam back. If I head back towards the doorway and take the path on the right, on the top, there's some more splinters of fate, so we can clear those. And then we can pick up the mirror that's on the ground. And we can see that the laser is striking this part on the wall, but it's not going anywhere. And it's suspiciously about the same size and shape as the mirror we picked up. So interact with it on the wall, put the mirror there. I head back into the chamber just to double check that I've done everything there. But it looks like now that laser beam is coming back out to the main area. And you can see where that switch is down in the lower area to the right on this chamber. The mirror is down low and on the wall we haven't put the power coil in yet. So let's head over to the slot in the wall. We're going to put that charged power coil in there. You can see that the doorway is still missing one of the beams of light that we need. So head down that little area, flip the switch. That's going to raise that mirror right there and that's going to hit the other spot on the door. Once you have both of those light beams, you'll be able to head through this doorway to the next area. Through this next area is kind of a dark, twisty hallway. And coming up to one of my favorite scenes in the game so far is that innermost chamber. This is where you're going to find the Jewel of Time, just like where Aladdin's lamp was. I spent a good amount of time in here. This is a great place to take pictures. You can head up the stairs to the statue at the top, interact with it. You'll have a short cutscene, and you will have retrieved the Jewel of Time from the Glittering Dunes.
Now, as you head back towards that doorway, just to the left of the doorway, you're going to have two of those plants with a chest behind it. If you have your watering can upgraded, you should be able to get rid of those plants and get to the chest. My watering can at this point is not upgraded, so I was not able to do that. And from here, you can either take that fast travel point to exit the Cave of Wonders, or you can walk all the way back through it. Once you exit the Cave of Wonders, you talk to Gaston again. And he rewards you with the Lafu Coconut Bust. That little Lafu that you fished up in the desert, that's yours now. And the Diamond in the Rough quest is complete. Hopefully this helps you with the Cave of Wonders and the Diamond in the Rough quest. I know a lot of people lose track of the Scarab when it's flying through the desert, and I've gotten a lot of questions about the puzzles, so hopefully now everybody can get through those. If you're ever looking for any of the quests, check out the live streams on the channel. The videos of the live streams always stay up on the channel. I try to put in the description some of the quests that we do and sometimes timestamp them so you can go straight to those quests. So if there's not a video out yet, you can usually check there or ask during a live stream if we're live. Subscribe for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.